Everybody, welcome to Hatha Yoga. Today in your practice, definitely have some blocks handy and we may use a strap later. So come meet me on your mats and we'll get started. Find a seated position that feels good or comfortable in your body. You may cross your ankles. You may bring the soles of your feet together. You may choose to sit on a meditation cushion. Let's rub your palms together, signifying the beginning of our practice. After you have some energy, feet between your hands, bring your palms either face down on your thighs if you're wanting to ground yourself, or palms up if you're wanting to be more open and available to receive. Sit up tall, drop your shoulders down your back. Slightly tuck your chin in towards your throat, finding more length in your spine. Take a long deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out your mouth. Do that a few times. Inhale, long and deep. Exhale, let it go. Once more, inhale. Exhale, release. Now allow your breath to find a natural and even rhythm with the length of your inhale matches the length of your exhale. Bring your awareness into your physical body and notice what is there in this moment. your physical body, bring your attention into your emotional body, seeing that you are holding heavy or light in your heart space. And then notice your mind. Where are your thoughts? Are you connected to the present? Can you anchor more fully into this moment and our practice together? I bring your attention into these spaces because yoga is more than just a physical practice. It is a deepening of your own awareness your consciousness. And breath in. And breath out. Inhale. And exhale, open your eyes. Slide your hands down onto your shins and roll your shoulders. Find some movement here, rolling your shoulders back. And then roll your shoulders forward. And you can go one at a time or together. Always keep in mind, this is your practice. 
You're making it suit the needs of your own body, your own mind, your own spirit today. Come back to center, inhale, shrug up and squeeze. Exhale, release and drop. Inhale, squeeze up. Exhale, drop. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, drop. Once more, inhale, squeeze and drop hands on your shins inhale seated cow shifting your weight forward widen your collarbones squeeze the shoulder blades together and then down your back exhale cat pose round your back tuck your chin you might even gently pull on your shin and then flow at your own pace in your seated cow cat back to center inhale reach your hands tall exhale twist to the left bring your right hand to the outside of your thigh grounding and planting your left hand behind you gently looking over your shoulder notice if there's any rounding or hunching See if you can sit up even taller Inhale, hands high, reach. Exhale, twist to the right. You can keep your hip bones squared to the long end or the short end of your mat, depending on which way you're facing. So the tendency will be for your hip to go with your shoulder. Keep your hips squared to the front as you rotate. So the twist comes more from this middle back rib cage area. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, reach tall, uncross and straighten your leg. Exhale, melt yourself down, having some softness in your knee joints. As you go forward, think about lifting your diaphragm off of your rib cage, and keeping this length in your spine, coming down. Breath in, exhale, come back, roll into table, spread your fingers wide, deck your shoulders over elbows and wrists, hips over kneecaps, extend your right leg straight out, squeeze your thigh and flex your foot, pull your belly into your spine, press your mat away, breath in, and breath out. Look down, notice your left hip 
If it has sagged off to the side, can you line your hip over your kneecap? Breath in. And breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, cross your right leg over your left. Ground it on the floor behind you. Take your head and look at your right big toe. Squeeze your right thigh. Press the floor away through your right palm. Breath in. Exhale, slowly release. Come back to center. Ground your right foot in alignment with your right hand and shift your weight front to back. Stretching through the sole of your foot, back of your ankle, into your calf. If you're feeling your wrists in not a good way, you can always make a fist and have your big knuckles facing down onto the mat. Last breath in. Exhale, return right knee under your hip. Realign in table. Inhale, extend your left leg straight out. Squeeze your thigh, flex your foot. Spin your pinky toe towards your mat. Pull your belly in, press the floor away. Keep some space between chin and chest. So there might be a tendency to tuck or drop your head. Line your head with your spine. And breath in. Exhale, left leg crosses over, grounding down. Take your head, look at your big toe. Think about contracting the right side of your body. So right shoulder to right hip, contract. Opening through the left side body. And breath in. Exhale, come back to center. Ground your left foot. Shift your weight. Front and then back. So anytime you're on your hands in your practice, you're always striving to press down through the top of your palm and out through your fingertips. So there's no space or gap with your hand in the floor. Breath in, exhale, table. Inhale to prepare, fingers spread wide, pressing down through the tops of your palms. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, and breath out. Inhale, exhale to crouch. Bring your knees closer to your elbows. Sink your belly to the tops of your thighs or as close as they're going to get today. On your inhale, down dog. Do that a few times. Exhale to bend and stretch. Inhale, returning to down dog. Once more, exhale, sink kneecaps towards your mat. Breath in, exhale into ragdoll, stepping your feet wide behind your hands, fully release, and let go of your head, your neck, the option to grab opposite elbows, and allow weight or gravity to pull your upper body towards the earth.
breath in. Exhale, forward fold, bring your feet together. Intensifying your forward fold, bend your knees, allow your chest and your belly to come a little closer to your thighs, maybe sink, maybe they touch. Sweep your hands behind your legs, maybe grab hands, forearms, up to elbows. You can utilize your strap here as well. Release your head, let the crown drop down, and then straighten your legs here. A little bit or a lot. Keep connecting with the wisdom of your own body and what is it, what it is asking for today. While you're here, your head and neck should be loose. Nod your head, yes. Nod your head, no. Breath in, exhale, soften your forward fold. Halfway lift, hands to shins, plug your shoulder blades down your back. Reach the crown of your head long, hook your belly to your spine. Hold right here. Breath in, exhale, forward fold. Mountain pose, reverse dive all the way up. At the top, half bind with your right arm, coming to your low back, palm facing away. And bend your left elbow, palm is in. We're holding this space, we're just allowing the shoulders open see here notice there's a tendency to kind of hyperextend and poke your rib cage out bring it back in use the strength of your core lift up take your diaphragm up off of take your rib cage off of your diaphragm Inhale, exhale, windmill to switch. Spread your fingers and your arms wide. Right hand rests across your low back, palm away. Right hand, palm in, resting at the back of your head or your neck. Inhale, hands high. Exhale to prayer. Let's go ahead and grab two blocks. Bring them down onto your mat about shoulder width apart. Want your feet maybe, oh, maybe a good foot and a half back from your blocks. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands to your blocks all the way down. Weight load your right leg, extend your left leg straight out from your hip. Squeeze your thigh, flex your foot, and then square your hips to start. So you will want to stack, put your left hip on top of your right. I want you to square, square. So your low back is level. If you wanted to place something here, it would stay. And then notice if your foot is sagging, 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 can you lift it up? Can you lift it up? 
hold and breathe. And breath in. Exhale, draw your left knee to your forehead, round your back, tuck your chin, standing cat. Low release, round your left foot. Switching sides, extend right leg. Squeeze your thigh, flex your foot. Spin your pinky toe down towards the earth. Level your heel with your hip best you can. Find that balance in your low back. And then if you're wondering what to do with your stabilizing leg, your knee can be soft here. If you are straightening your leg, you're always keeping just a little micro bend so there's not any hyperextending of your joints. Once you've settled in, take the time to notice, how does the side feel? So for me personally, this side feels much easier. It just feels easier, feels stronger, more stable. How does it feel for you? Breath in, exhale, knee to forehead, right knee, forehead, round your back, tuck the chin. Release, forward fold, walk yourself down. Option to stay here, option to intensify your forward fold. Bend your knees, sink your belly. Keep your hands behind you. Grab hands, forearms, opposite elbows. Release your head, let it drop down. Begin to straighten your legs, a little bit or a lot. Nod your head, yes. Nod your head, no. Breath in, exhale, stop in your forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold, mountain. Bend your right elbow, palm in, sweep your left hand down and around. Option rest on your low back or maybe slide it up more towards your middle back. If there's space, you might even connect your fingertips, or maybe that feels like too much today. Find what works. Draw navel to spine. Draw your right elbow closer to the ceiling, so lift up. Breath in, exhale, windmill to switch. Left hand on top, right hand on bottom. Remember you can stay with your low back or maybe slide your hand up towards your middle back.
And breath in. Exhale, release. Reach your hands all the way up. Plug your shoulder blades down your back. Forward fold, hands to blocks. Weight load your right leg, extend your left leg. Straight back, finding your form, leveling your hips, squeeze your thigh, flex your foot. Option to stay here, option to release one hand or two. So maybe your right arm extends, drop your shoulder blade down. Maybe both arms extend. Full warrior three. You decide. Breath in. Exhale, hands to blocks. Keep your back leg lifted. Now open your hips. So you're gonna stack your hips, left on top of right. Still squeeze your thigh, flex your foot. And breath in. Exhale, slowly re-level your hips and drop your left foot to meet your right. And reset and switch. Weight load your left leg, extend your right leg straight back. Finding your form, your stability first. Option to stay, option to extend your left arm and maybe your right arm too. Breath in, exhale hands to blocks, hold that leg up there. Open and stack your hips. You're gonna open your hips. Right on top of left. And breath in. Exhale, level your hips. Release your right foot to the floor. Soft forward fold. Maybe bend your knees even here a little deeper. Breath in and breath out. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Mountain pose all the way up. Dip your left arm down and around, bend your right elbow. Maybe your hands connect, maybe not. Find a space where there's openness, like you're creating more openness within the body, but there should not be any pain or discomfort. Breath in, 
Exhale, windmill and rotate. in and breath out inhale reach both hands high exhale hands come down to your blocks now we'll be moving into half moon starting with warrior three open the hips and then you have the option to let go of one block in your half moon Begin, I'm gonna flip around here. So begin weight loading your right leg. Kick your left leg straight back. Open your hips. And then the option is to stay right here or to slowly release your left hand towards the ceiling. The back leg is strong. Foot parallel to hip, pull your belly in. Notice if you're sinking into your bottom shoulder, can you press away through your right hand? Just a little bit more, hang in there with me. Breath in, and breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly bring left hand to block, rebalance your hips, and release your left foot down. Switching side, weight load your left foot, extend right leg, open and stack your hips. Option to stay here or release your right hand. Notice how this side feels. Is it the same? Is it different? A little more, a little more. Yes, yes, yes. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down. Square your hips. Release your right foot. Soft forward fold. Maybe widen your feet, coming into ragdoll. Gently sway. Left to right. Breath in, and breath out. Forward fold, halfway lift. Forward fold, mountain pose. Hands to heart. We're gonna do that half moon once more, and then this time you're gonna have the option for candy cane. 
Candy cane is where you bend your top knee, draw your heel in towards your glute, and then you reach back and connect. Maybe you grab your foot, maybe you just hook your pant leg. If you've got um, somebody handy, you can always have them help you utilize a strap as well. We'll begin weight loading our right leg, mountain pose, reach up, hands to blocks, weight load right leg, extend your left leg, stack your hips, release your left hand, an option to stay here, option to bend your top knee, reach back, maybe you connect hand and foot, maybe you just send them towards one another, either one. If you do make that connection, find a little energy there. Your foot kicks into your hand, your hand pulls back. And hopefully you're getting a nice stretch in your hip flexor as well. A little more. Slowly release your top leg, return to half moon. Left hand returns to block. Square your hips. Release your left foot. Reset. So which side? Right leg kicks back. Stack your hips. Release your right hand. Maybe candy cane, bend your knee, hand and foot. Find that energetic peace. And breath in, and breath out. You're locking into your drishti, your focal point. And slowly release, right hand, right foot, half moon, right hand to block, square your hips, let it go, melt yourself down. You're not already there, widen your feet. Feet as wide as your mat or even wider. Bend deep in your left knee, inhale right hand high. Exhale half bind, stay here. Option, your left hand can be on a block. Rotate your heart space. And breath in, exhale, slowly release. Right hand down and around, switch legs, bend deep into your right knee. Inhale your left hand high. Exhale, half bind and hold. Keep your head in the line, same line as your spine.
Breath in. Exhale, release. Left hand down and around. Shift the rotation of your feet. Go heels in, toes out. Sit down in Malasana. If movement here in Malasana would feel good, do that. If stillness is calling to you, speaking your name, do that. If a block underneath you for support is talking to you, do that. Breath in, exhale to have a seat. Have a seat, bring your feet out in front of you for cow's face, cow's face. Draw your right foot underneath your left knee so your heel's coming back towards your hip. However, you're allowing your sits bones to stay connected to your mat. And then your left leg crosses over your right. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot you know, doing the best you can. So maybe, maybe this is the best you can do. That's great. Flexing your feet, sit up tall. And then if this feels like enough, if you wanna just stay right here, both of your sits bones anchored to the floor, do that. Otherwise add in the arms. Inhale, right arm up. Bend your right elbow. Palm is in. Sweep your left arm down and around. Option to rest or option to connect the hands or utilize your strap here. Reach your right elbow up towards the ceiling. Breath in, exhale, release, just the arms, just the arms, let them go, roll your shoulders. Gently uncross your cow's face legs, reset your feet, knees bent. Now take your left foot underneath your right knee, back towards your right hip. So heel to hip, right foot crosses, you're striving for heel to hip. So both heels reach back towards your hips. You're flexing your feet to try to hold a healthier alignment between your knee and your ankle as best you can. Sit up. Now in a perfect world, we're not striving for perfection though, we're just striving to practice. Um, you might try for your kneecaps to stack. You can see mine are very far apart, but maybe Maybe you have that ability. Stay here or add your arms. Left arm on top, bend your elbow. Right arm sweeps around, palm facing away. Holding in place, utilizing your strap. Or maybe your hands touch. Maybe your hands touch. Breath in, 
Exhale, release just your arms. Bring them back down, roll your shoulders. And slowly uncross. Extend your left leg long. Bring the sole of your right foot in close to your body, as close as it wants to get today. Have a strap handy by you for this posture. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, melting down, reaching towards your left foot. And then you're going to go into a full bind. So sweep your arms in front of your right shin and your left arm behind you. Maybe your hands connect. Maybe you just send them towards one another. Maybe you utilize your strap. Inhale, lift your chest, flex your foot. Exhale, melt yourself down. in. Exhale, slowly unbind and switch legs. Bend your left knee, ground your foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, melt down, squeeze your thigh, flex your right foot, extend and reach for the full bind. So think about your tricep coming towards the front of your shin. And that may or may not happen. That's okay. Maybe your bind looks like this. Once you're where you want to be, inhale, lift your collarbones, exhale, come down. Breath in, exhale, slow, release, slow release, stay here, take your left foot, cross it over your right, if it's available to you, if it's not, keep it planted right here, sitting up, sitting up for a seated spinal twist, so either left foot on the instep of right leg, or it crosses over, sit up tall, take your right arm, hug your left knee towards the midline of your body, rotate, twist, Ground your left hand on the floor behind you. Breath in, exhale, untwist, extend left leg, bend your right knee, plant your foot in step or cross it over your left leg, sit up, your left arm hugs your right knee, twist, looking over your shoulder.
breath in. Exhale, release. Make your way onto your back. And draw your left leg long, right knee into chest, and sweep your right knee off to the side of your rib cage. The option is stay here or to lift your right foot up for half of happy baby. And you can grab your ankle, you can grab the sole of your foot, utilize a strap. Breath in, exhale, slowly release, extend. Might pause just for a moment to notice how one side feels compared to the other. And draw your left knee in, sweep it to the side of your rib cage, lift your foot, and then you can stay here for happy baby, half of happy baby or make it your own. Breath in, exhale, release, grab one block, slide it underneath your low back and sacrum area for a supported bridge and a slight inversion. Option to stay here in the supported bridge or option to lift your feet up for supported shoulder stand. Breath in, exhale, lift your hips, roll down, make your way into Shavasana.
Elam Shavasana, please stay here. If you are ready to move on, take a full deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Find movement in your fingers and your toes. And roll into fetal child's pose. in. Exhale to rise. Bring your hands together at your heart and rub your palms once again. Once you have some heat in your hands, feel this practice by bring your hands over your closed eyes. Breath in, breath out. Hands return to your heart. And we'll bow forward together in gratitude. Thank you so much for practicing with me today.